What's up, everybody? I had a couple suggestions after uh, Heartland Survival and I had our little live, and people were wanting to know about, you know, what I carry in my truck, so uh, I thought I'd just go ahead and do a quick video on it. And just so y'all know, before I show you one thing in here, my uh, mag is already out. And so I'm going to start directly in my driver's seat and kind of move out of the driver's door to the back and around the side of the vehicle to the back or to the passenger side of the vehicle. And that's kind of like how this video is going to roll. And then I'll leave it up to y'all to, you know, give me some comments and everything like that. And let me know kind of what I should have in here. Now, keep in mind, there is a few things that I'm not going to show. And there's a few things that aren't in here yet or have been taken out of here that are going to be put back in like my uh, toolbox, which will have a lot of, a lot of random stuff in it and things like that. And then uh, up under the hood in the engine compartment, I keep, you know, a funnel actually two, in plastic bags and things like that so that I have those types of things on hand as well. So anyways, I'm going to flip this around and might get upside down for just a second. Uh, and then we'll get back reoriented. Thanks. Oh, hey, look at there. I'm with the right direction. So, sitting in my driver's seat, <clears throat> right here is my XDM. Like I said, mag is out. Now, this is a 19 round magazine that typically is inside of here. And this is mounted up on my uh, dash, I guess you call it, the front side of the dash. So you can just grab it, back around, and pull it out. Nice and easy. Um, and it's fitted with the, uh, O-Light and it's a hell of a bright light. It's a wonderful thing. And I love having this thing right there. Super handy. So that's the beginning right there. Handy there. Now, if you look down right at my right hand side here, set beside me on the console or in between the console on my seat is a nice little knife here. And typically this thing is pressed in to where when I grab it, I can pull this knife and the sheath will stay and the knife will come out. However, today, because I took my seat covers off, um, this thing's going to keep moving. But anyways, uh, it's got like a little, uh, a little striker deal, you know, oops, can't think of what it's called, flint deal there. So I can start fires with it, everything like that. Uh, moving over here into this. And forgive me, my vehicle is always going to be dirty because for when I live out in the country, windows are always down because my air conditioner doesn't work. And uh, you know what? It's a work truck. So I keep it as clean as I can, but it is not like dust free and everything like that. That's why I carry an AK-47 and a XDM Springfield because I need stuff that can work while it's dirty. Anyways, this is a uh, solar charger. It's got a nice bright flashlight on it. Came from Patriot Supply. Um, it's got a compass on it. I would not bet my life on it, but it does charge uh, phones. It'll charge a couple phone or charge a couple. It's got two ports, USB ports, and so I keep my cables in here in the vehicle as well. And this thing will, with the little carabiner, will hook right on to my uh, go bag. Now there is another one that is actually hooked on my bag that I carry every day. That I'll, actually also goes inside this vehicle. Uh, so I, I have two of these so I can run, you know, the flashlight, charge four different things off of it. A pair of work gloves, of course, you know, never know when you're going to need those. Might have never been used, but, you know, someday I might use it. Uh, a couple of pins in here to write with. Um, a lighter down in here. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. My, uh, never know when you're going to need these little guys. And it's pretty handy. Oops, just ripped that out because apparently they melted today. But it's the uh, CBD gummy bears, and they melted, so that's awesome. So we'll get into this a uh, uh, little console here. Let me get my armrest out of the way, and uh, kind of start digging through this thing. I've got two pair of sunglasses in here. I've got oh the face paint, the camel face paint, and I've got a. Uh, face mask in there as well it's uh the full head face neck cover mask honestly don't know why i keep that in here i guess for mugging people i don't know um i've got a life straw in here i prefer i prefer the sawyer minis but you know i've got a life straw so i'm going to use it i've got a sawyer mini in my uh everyday bag so it's not going to hurt to have 
full of life raw here. Um, I've got the emergency food rations, which are, are the uh, lifeboat foods or whatever. So I ain't got to worry about, you know, them getting bad or whatever by setting in the heat or cold. Uh, tourniquet, tourniquet holder down in here. Um, pair of wool socks, I guess. Uh, I've got my holster for my pistol with another 20 round, sorry, 19 round magazine in there. Um, I've got my little holder that's got my scissors, a uh, small, like, child's tourniquet, um, the stop the bleed, uh, gauze, and that hooks handily onto my belt. I carry that, actually, one of these, and this tourniquet on my person all the time also, and this tourniquet holder on my person all the time. Um, you've always got to be able to smell somewhat decent if you're in a survival situation, so I've got cologne down in there. Um, I've got, uh, you know, handful, there's a few more, of, uh, a feather, of, uh, zip ties, uh, of course, tire tester, uh, oh, some extra parts for the vehicle, uh, money in zip block bags, any waterproof container, there's probably, you know, a hundred bucks or two, um, you gotta keep your beard looking good, so I keep one of these in there, and it's probably dirty as hell, and I wouldn't actually... Actually, I would. I'd run that through my beard. But, you know, probably not the best thing. Probably needs to wash before you would. Uh, lighter. Another lighter. With, uh, Gorilla Tape on it. Let's see here. One, two, three. Oops. Sorry, guys. A couple, two or three books of matches. Um, socket for the, uh, tires. Or, rims. Sorry. Uh, some Carmex. And that's it for that little container, which, that's a crazy amount of junk in there. And I'm just gonna shove it all back in here. I'll kind of reorganize it later, but I don't want it all sitting on the seat because I probably won't get it put back together correctly tonight. So I'll just shove it all in here and deal with it tomorrow. Then on my person, because of, you know, riding in a vehicle, I always like to have a knife like this. So it's got a seat belt cutter, good size blade, and a way to bust the window. Don't really have to worry about busting the windows during summertime because I roll around here with the windows down because I don't have an air conditioner. So that's how that works. Anyways, moving on with the rest of the vehicle. I've got a koozie because you never know what you need to keep cold. Now this is a special order visor to hold a flashlight. And so I've got a flashlight up here. Come over here in this handy little container. There should be, yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, emergency blanket even in the middle of summer I keep hand warmers in here I don't know why but that's what I do it's my truck I can have what I want so those go up in there and in here because I'm getting old uh, reading glasses nice so we'll move on outside of the vehicle from there okay and moving to the door I've got a rag for doing rag things here uh, I've got, and it's old vehicle, so I gotta have rags. I gotta regularly check the oil, check transmission fluid, and all that good stuff. I've got some of your protection just in case I need to have some for whatever reason. Pocket multi tool. Yeah, that's still a pocket, so it counts. Um, just a little Winchester one. It's handy. Uh, we patch a lot of wire, we deal with mending a lot of fence, things like that, so it's kind of handy to have that. Um, snake bite kit. Yep, and sting. Sorry, snake bite and sting kit. You know, we, uh, We've got rattlesnakes around here, so I don't know if they work. I never had to use one. Hopefully, never will have to use one. Um, then I've got a pair of safety glasses in there and a pair of ice scripts down in there. So that's what's inside of that there pocket. I'm gonna try to put everything back because I'm going kind of in a quick hurry. Sorry, folks. You just gotta kind of deal with it. But if I don't, it'll be a mess. Now this pocket here, everybody can see that obviously is a tourniquet with a set of rubber gloves. I like the orange because it's easy to find. I can tell somebody open my door, grab the two orange things in the pocket and bring it to me. So moving to the back door, which is just a half door on my vehicle, but that's what I drive. Yep, it's hot, so I need it. Or may need it, who knows, you never know. Uh, big trash bag, a couple small trash bags. 
them really dirty because, like I said, rolling out my windows down. Uh, sanitize those hands uh, inside of a package, though, so they should still be clean. Ain't enough for me, anyways. And then some uh, wet cloth for gadget guard, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I got it. And then there's a couple little uh, bags down in there. So I can kind of have a little bit of cleanliness, cleanliness there and uh, some bags to use. So then we'll move into here. Grab this thing off of here. I got my little hat because I do wear a ball cap all the time, but sometimes you need more than a ball cap to keep the sun off of your neck and your ears because it sucks. I don't like the sun. It's hot. And then I always carry this little fella here. So wish I could hang it up in there to show you front to back, but you know, turn it over. Got a tourniquet here. Got three 19 round magazines for the nine here. Uh, small blade, small but very sharp blade. Pair of work gloves. Got the uh, window removers for knuckles on there, whatever you want to call them. I got uh, two AK mags here. I got my oh, two AK mags here. I've got my pistol magazine holder here. Another spot for a 20 round magazine, 19 round magazine, sorry. It does not have one in there at this time because the one that goes in here technically is in my console. Um, so if you run this thing over, just a hair. Then inside here, there's an inside pocket that I am kind of a chubby guy, so I like to have food on my person no matter where I go. So there's three bags of peanuts in here and a uh, energy bar or two. I forgot this little pocket up here, which should have, if I remember right, emergency blanket and some, oh, sorry guys, I am horrible at this, emergency blanket and some fire starting stuff. So there's that little pocket there. That so back up. So then you move on around this thing here a little bit more. Oh, good God, I should have had some help doing this, I guess. And I've got... An IFAT kit right here on the side. I've got two, four more AK-47, AK-47 magazines right there. Rotate on around to the back side a little bit more. I got two, four more AK mags there. And that pretty much sums up what is on this little vest here it is two, four, six, eight, nine, ten magazines for the AK-47, three magazines for the nine millimeter, and Oh yeah, in the other pocket, sorry, on the inside here, just thought of that, I've got five, yeah, oops, rolling, it's on this side. Anyways, there's five inside here, this one, this side, five energy shots shoved into this thing, just in case. I don't like to get sleepy if I'm doing things, so moving on to the rest of the back side of the truck. Chainsaw blade, brand new. Um, I use my truck around the farm, so I got chainsaw blades, oil, all the good stuff there. And here's a small boo-boo kit. Within this kit is, you know, your normal band-aids, some gauze, uh, one-time use, cool pack, um, antiseptic towels, antibiotic cream, bird cream, some more gauze, uh, some tweezers, some rubber gloves, um, small triangle, triangular bandage, your anti-diarrheal, um, some ibuprofen, Advil, you know, things like that just to help, you know, make you feel a little better uh, type of first aid kit. And then, of course, I've got the big kit from there. Not the biggest he offers, of course, but, you know, a, a nice, good size uh, kit that I got from Bear, which I think is the... Uh, sort kit which is in here and i added a few extra things to it like this uh sam splint um a couple of these smaller uh tourniquets here for you know like kids and stuff like that um i threw some more like uh aspirin advil uh, some small band-aids you know things like that just some smaller stuff into this big kit this kit is badass in general period uh, it doesn't really need nothing added to it. However, I just put... There was a little bit of room in there. Uh, Bear doesn't leave you much room in his kits, but there was a little bit of room. So I did add some stuff to it. Uh, 
I have some other things that I am going to molly to the outside of this to add on to this kit as well because it's just some things that I think would be nice to have handy on the outside that's not once I break into this kit it's, it, it's getting pretty serious but it has some stuff on the outside of this kit that's just your, your normal boo-boo kit stuff and you know your feel good stuff uh, and like super glue things like that try to get that on the outside of this kit here so that rides in the back there too um, doing this one handed might be kind of interesting, but up underneath the back seat is the AK-47. It's got a 30-round magazine in it that is right now holding all 30 rounds. And then uh, I wrap my sling in such a fashion that it stays onto the weapon and keeps it out of the way to store nicely, but it can slide off there quickly and easily to go around my shoulder and then this firearm is ready to roll at a quick, quick snap of the hat, or snap of the fingers, sorry. So she goes right back underneath the seat. Then here, I always roll around with the cooler. Typically has water, ice, and Gatorade in it. And I try to keep it full of water, ice, and Gatorade, because I don't like to be thirsty. And moving on around the back side of the truck. Um, my toolbox is out here, like I said before, I will be getting it back in here. But, you know, I am an avid baseball player, softball player, plus, looking at the trash, sorry. Plus, it's just something handy to have. But I do have my jumper cables and a tow chain and a little bit of trash in here, sorry. But that's the minimum of what I've got in here for now because I am trying to get my toolbox set up the way I want it. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle, so it'll do what I need it to do, even though it isn't pretty. Moving on to the driver's side, and this video is getting a lot longer than I wanted it to, so I'm still trying to talk fast and trying to move. <laughs> Moving on to the passenger side. Fence tester. That's uh, because we got a lot of hot wire fence around here. And, of course, we work out in the pasture a lot, so we got off. Uh, I've got a grandchild, Charlotte, little Miss Charlotte, which is the best artist in the world. So I've got the itsy bitsy spider that hangs on the dash. So I can't show you what's in the glove box, but within this glove box is a ton of paper towels. Of course, my insurance, things like that. If cop needs it, well, he's gonna have to wait because I have to carefully take this off because this is not getting ruined. And there is also matches, uh, another lighter, another knife, a pocket tool. Um, I actually think there's one more magazine from my nine millimeter in there. But I can't, well, I can, but I'm not going to take it off right now. And then, of course, you know, Armor R cleaners. I obviously don't use it that much, but I have it just in case I didn't decide to. So back in here, got PB Blaster. Because, of course, everything gets rusty and I always need it. And it's handy just to have on hand, so I keep it. Plus, it's a good water repellent if you ever just wanted it or needed to spray it on your clothes, whatever, whatever. Uh, it's great water repellent. More, 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 more bug spray. Uh, of course, you guys don't care about that. That's just nails because I work on stuff. So I've got brad nailers and finish nailers and framing nails and everything like that floating around inside the truck. Yes, that is supposed to have a water bladder in it. I can hold more water in these bottles and that water bladder holds. Then I get a separate container that I can drink out of, easy to refill, and they make for a great pillow actually. Plus I can hand them out to people if we're working on a project and people are looking thirsty. I'm not the only one with water. I can hand these out and people can have water because I have them in there, I have them in here, and I have them in this one. So no matter where I'm at, what job site I'm at, or what project we're doing at somebody's house, I always have water available to hand to people that I can carry on my person or they can as well carry it with me. And it holds more than, like I said, the bladders that come in these. So that's what's in there. Moving into this. This is how I keep my toilet paper clean and uh, feminine pro hygiene products clean as well. They sit inside these coffee cans. So that little fella just sits here and floats around the back of the truck. And I got some pliers here because we live on a farm. Got a hammer because I like hitting stuff. Um, this is triangles that you set up if you break down. I drive an old raggedy truck, so I believe you should have these. Because if you break down, I want people to see me well before they get to me because I do not like the idea of getting ran over. Um, of course, an ice scraper because it's 100 degrees out. Um, 
saw, a little hand saw. Um, I don't always want to use the chainsaw. That's kind of nice. Empty uh, Gatorade bottle. I'm sure that's in here for a good reason, and it's not just trash. Um, I could use it for something, I suppose. One ratchet strap, because I do carry a lot more inside the toolbox that will be in here, but since it is not in here, I at least want one in here so I can at least make it look like I gave it a half ass try to keep whatever I have in the back of my truck in the back of my truck. And a shovel because I love to dig. So I keep one on hand just in case I get the urge to stop on the side of the road and dig a hole. And it's actually really great to keep around because when, you know, winter comes in or you get in a muddy spot or any of those types of things to where you got to dig a hole or, you know, move some dirt out of your way, you got the capability of doing so. And then there is, I'm a great camera guy. I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing it professionally, but that was just a spare shirt right there, but I had to use it to pick up, I don't know how many. 7.62 by 39 rounds that we shot off one day. So I wanted to pick it up and get it out of our shooting range so my wife didn't yell at me for leaving a bunch down there because I feel like they'll rest away and go away, but it feels like we need to pick them up. So uh, that's about it. That's what I carry in my truck. So y'all let me know what else I need to put in here. Uh, let me know what else you guys would have and let me know what you think about my loadout and we'll kind of go from there thank you all for watching stay safe like share subscribe all that good fun stuff see you guys around